Welcome back to Lisa Michelle Beyond the Scale. It's called Lisa Michelle Beyond the Scale because it is beyond the scale, but in um, real time, Weight Watchers, I belong to Weight Watchers. I'm a Weight Watcher, and guess what? Their tag is Beyond the Scale, so guess what? So am I. And it rhymes, Lisa Michelle Beyond the Scale. It's catchy, why not? I went to my Sunday weigh-in today. <clears throat> I've been doing my um, Simply Filling for the past, I'll say, hmm, three weeks, give or take, at home and at Weight Watchers, of course, because I'm home in Weight Watchers. I got up to 195, a few pounds away from the 199 I started at over a year ago. Then that accident, I keep talking about it because this plays an important factor that I was alive, and guess what? I was going to eat what I wanted to eat. Okay, so I did, and I gained 21 pounds from June 13th all the way up to about three weeks ago. I am pleased to announce that this morning, I am 191.4, something like that, give or take a few. I'm feeling good, but it's not all about the number on the scale, but it's about how you feel. And guess what? I feel amazing. I feel good, too, in my mental state because I'm taking better care of myself. I'm not as cranky. As nice as I am, everybody, y'all know I'm just the nicest person. I'm sweetie pie. Oh, but I'll cut up, and I'll cut up real good and let you have it. I'm, um... A very blunt person. I usually keep most of it under wraps. I've had um, practice working in the mainstream with uh, jobs and bosses and co-workers. Just only certain things you can get away with and say out loud at work. So I have a little restraint over me. But when I'm not in those situations, I pretty much say what I want. Everybody at the Weight Watchers meeting knows that I'm quite blunt. And, you know, I still use a bit of tenact. But, um... I do pretty much say what I'm thinking, and a lot of people don't say what they're thinking. I don't know if they're, it's hard for them to do that, but I have no problem with it at all. You know, if you're feeling a certain way, no one's going to know you're feeling like that if you don't say anything. So, I say stuff. They were talking in the meeting, because a lot of the, um, it's not a lot, but a few of the women are went vegetarian and were already vegetarian, which is a really good thing. And I was vegetarian for a whole seven years of my life, many eight, probably eight now. And my story is I got back eating the meat because I was at my mom's house and she was making bacon and it just smelled so good. And it reminded me of childhood and there goes those childhood triggers again. So it reminded me of childhood and when I would eat bacon and it smelled good and it reminded me of mom and she was cooking it still. She's here. So... Guess what? I had some of that bacon and I never went back. But I can honestly tell you the seven years that I was vegetarian, it was really, really nice. And in the meeting, the instructor, because she's filling in for our wonderful Lisa, she wanted to know what was some of the benefits of being vegetarian. And I told her I can name um, a really nice benefit of being vegetarian. And she said, well, what is that? And I said... When you go to the bathroom, you have to kind of look and see like, hmm, did I go? And you look and you say, <sighs> you don't smell anything. There's no smell whatsoever. You just fresh in the bathroom. I'm like, wow. So I told them that in the meeting. Everybody was looking kind of like, <gasps> kind of shocked that I had said that out loud. And I'm like, we all go. You know what I'm saying? It's a normal function of life, and if you can't talk about that, then, like, why are we even having a group setting, you know? We talk about a lot of deep stuff in the meeting and triggers and how people will say different things to people that are heavy and tell them, Oh, you're cute for a fat girl. Oh, you just have such a pretty face. Or you'll meet up with somebody you haven't seen in a long time. They know you're um, heavy or you got a weight problem, whatever, and... They'll come up to you and they'll say, like, oh, boy, you sure have picked up weight. I'm like, who are you people and why do you feel that it's okay that you can walk up to somebody and say some crap like that? It's some really mean stuff 
to say. You don't say that to nobody. You don't know what those people are going through. You don't know what they've been through. They might have lost a family member. They might have gotten in a accident and couldn't exercise or walk and was eating whatever the hell they wanted to eat. You don't know what's going on in people's life. People are going through divorces. The cat might have died. The dog might have ran away or just every little thing. You might have some asshole teenagers that are screwing with you and you got to get in there behind. It's just all kind of things that trigger food. Some people eat emotionally. Some people eat because they're stressed. Some people eat just because. Me, I'm one of those people I eat for the flavor. I'm not nearly necessarily hungry when I'm eating. I just like to eat. And I like the whole experience of it. It's an event for me. It tastes good. I just want to keep reliving the same flavor over and over and over again. It's just yummy. So that's my addiction. It's part of my addiction. So that's what I do. Oh, and you know, excuse all the noise in the background if you hear anything. I am in the car. I had to restart a video because this woman pulls up. And I'm like, where did you come from? Going over to the neighbor's house and she was talking all loud and stuff. I said, where did you come from? I came out to the car so I can get some peace and make my video in peace. You all deserve such riches from me. I'm not always out walking and I just wanted to have a nice quiet video rambling about things that I like to ramble about because in my everyday life I like to talk and anybody that knows me knows I like to talk and it's not always received very well so I said you know the things that I like to talk about which is the weight loss and um, trial and error and happiness and sadness about the whole experience about being a woman and being full figure and going up and down in my weight it's every day it's a journey and you're not going to be the same weight every single day of your life you can get keep within maybe about five pounds of your so-called goal weight when you ever get there when you do you know it's it's hard but I'm not trying to lose weight to be all cute because I know I'm cute right now just like I am in the state that I am, honey. I know. I love me. There's no problem with how I feel about myself. I want to feel good in my clothes. I'm just stuffed. I don't like my waistband to feel tight. I don't like it cutting at my waist. I want to be able to sit down and not be out of breath. I want to go in the closet and know that the clothes that I'm pulling out of there look nice on me and that they feel nice on me. That's really all I want. I'd be happy. What I really would like is to be able to sit and eat cupcakes all day and that be it. And just stay at a decent weight. So right now I am at 191, probably about 4. I can never remember those pointages, but they're important though. Um, about 191.4, I was up to 195.9, which was almost 196. So, in the three weeks time, I yes, I'm a part of the Turtle Club also because it takes a while for all that to happen. I've been working diligently. I went to that Sweet 16 party last night for my granddaughter. And guess what? We went to the Olive Garden. I wasn't going to eat anything. I brought some... Um, grilled chicken I had grilled at home and put it in one of them snack size baggies and put it in my purse because I was just going to have salad and sprinkle my chicken in there on the slide but turns out one of um, my stepson's sisters I call her my daughter she um, is not working right now so she's on you know a budget and so she had salad and the breadstick so I said girl oh I got something for you. Hold on. I dug down in my purse and everything and got that bag of chicken out. And I sprinkled her a little chicken and everything. And we were looking around like, like it was some drug of choice, which it was chicken, grilled chicken. So she ate really nice and told me, oh my God, you just take such good care of me. You're just such a good mother. So we had a good laugh at the table. I even took out my um, Bolt House um, blue cheese salad dressing if we so choose. We didn't really end up using it, but it was good. So, just want to say, you can have control. I did have the appetizer. It was a meatball appetizer. Meatball pizza appetizer and eight little small chunks 
about like that size. It was four of them and Alfredo and marinara dipping sauce. And I had one breadstick. Do you know those breadsticks at the Olive Garden are 140 calories? They have lost their mind. Do you know how many breadsticks in the past I've eaten from there? Just throwing them back like it was the thing to do. Tossing them like they were some sunflower seeds or popcorn. That's what I would do. And I even had sangria. But you know what I did when I got home? Oh, and I had a big old glass of water to wash that down. It was late. I got home around 8. It was dark already. I didn't really want to walk out in the blackness of night. So guess what? I dusted off that treadmill I got. Got the clothes off of it and all that stuff in the dust. Got a big old extension cord and plugged it up. I got on and I walked one 0.14 miles on there which was 30 minutes worth of walking at 0.2 or 2.0 2, 2 so it was a decent pace what I like about it is when I go on my normal walk around the neighborhood I need the walker because I need to sit down in between but the pace that I was going was at a nice even slow pace wasn't killing myself no, by no means Got on the walk. Um, I get on the walker around the neighborhood, but the treadmill I can just hold on to the uh, side side handles, and it was really nice. I felt free and I felt normal for just one moment in time, so it was good. But that walk paid off. Me doing good all week, so I did have enough room to guess what? Have a little something at the restaurant. Tuesday coming up is going to be my mother's 76th birthday. We're going out to Long Beach to get something to eat. So I will be saving up my weekly points and doing right. And I'm going to eat with my mom on her birthday. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to overdo it. I'm going to get a, a healthy choice. I'm going to choose something healthy. Find out what the restaurant is we're going to in Long Beach. I'm going to look at the menu ahead of time and really evaluate while I'm not starving to death. What would I like to eat? So it's really all about planning. I'll probably even have a smoothie that morning for breakfast so I can hang at the restaurant and do what I want to do. Came back from Weight Watchers after my two pound weight loss and guess what? I know I have new points this morning because my points reset on meeting day which is today. So I get another 35. I'm on Simply Filling. I had my small piece of cake I had saved over from last night. I had that and some coffee for breakfast this morning so I'm good so you can have your cake and eat it too now I know I'll be going for my evening walk and I walk it off it's gonna be okay you can do it so just do what you need to do for you don't let nobody talk about you you're beautiful just the way you are you are just amazing we are amazing we have amazing body makeups we're all different sizes we're all different skin tones we all have different textures of hair different lips eyes nose all that I'm not gonna look like you and you're not gonna look like me and I'm not trying to look like I'm 16 or if I'm 20 or if I'm 30 or 40 no I'm gonna be 51 in September and I look good for my age and the body that I'm in so you love the body that you're in and stop being so hard on yourself say some good things about yourself because you know you rock right I know I do. <laughs> Took me a long time to get to this point, but honey, I love me today. Ah! All of me. I got, oh, and look at my new Wonder Woman t shirt. I promise you it's the business. Like, Wonder Woman! Wonder Woman!